Welcome to Lightspeed, my name is Nick. In this video I will talk about the stock module of Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series. We will look at stock management details, item composition, recipes, stock levels, movements, transfers, production, inventory and low stock alerts. How does it all work? First we start by activating stock via configuration, settings and stock. Click on Activate Stock Management and create one or more stocks if needed. The Stock Management module and its different headings will now appear in the navigation menu on the left. To manage stock, we can either create items one by one or import them via an Excel sheet. Let's start with a bottle of wine which we will sell on its own. We open the item and navigate to the bottom of the page. Here we enter the stock management details like Dimension, Content and Stock. Once filled out, we will be able to process deliveries, transfers, but most importantly, track the stock levels. We recommend adding stock management details also to those items which you do not sell, but only use for stock management purposes, like a cake or a pack of flour. In case we would sell a particular wine per bottle and per glass of 175 and 250 milliliters, we can link these different volumes with each other via item composition. This means that every time we will sell these glasses, the volume of the bottle will be reduced in our stock levels. We recommend starting with the highest volume first, in example, the bottle of wine and then its glasses, or a keg and then its pint and half pint. When clicking on Edit, we skip stock management details and go straight to Item Composition. As a glass of wine will be poured from the bottle, which we created earlier, stock details for this item are not needed. By clicking on Edit Composition, we can search for the bottle of wine we want to link the glass with and enter the quantity or volume we take from it. Click on Add to confirm. Since we have already applied the same to the second glass of wine, we can now see the glasses linked to the bottle. By the use of item composition, we can also build recipes, in example for cocktails. Let's take a look at our Negroni. Since the item is created by putting different ingredients together, there is no need to fill out stock management details. In item composition, we find the different quantities per ingredient needed to prepare this cocktail. Bear in mind that in contrast to our glasses of wine, we need to enter stock management details for each of these ingredients, since they are fractions of bigger volumes. In other words, when a glass of this Negroni is sold, we will see a deduction in our stock for all ingredients used. The first step in our stock module is stock management. Here we have an overview of all items with stock levels. These are displayed in an ascending order. The order can be changed in different ways, in example by quantity, product or price, or we can filter by stock or accounting groups. The data can be exported in an Excel file and at the same time we have the possibility to import new stock items or stock takes in bulk. Via the stock movement step, we can track both increases and decreases in our stock based on the different actions that have been performed by any of the employees either on the POS or in the back office. These actions can be sales or cancelled sales, stock takes, transfers, wastage or produced recipes. There is also the option to import custom reasons for this column. For example, when we have manually adjusted the stock during stock take, we can then leave a note in example stock take on the 10th of December. When checking in stock, we go to the new stock input tab. We have to select the stock we are adding to, the product, quantity and the reason before saving. The calls can be inventory, goods delivery or cancelled sale. Note that if the product is not yet created as an item in the items module, we won't be able to link a stock quantity with it. The process is the same when we have to decrease our stock. In the new stock output tab, we can select the product we are taking out of the stock, enter the quantity by which we would like to decrease the stock and select the reason. For both new stock input and output, we have the possibility to leave a custom note in the field description. The input and output actions are now tracked in our stock movements tab. Now let's talk about stock transfers. In case we have one business location, we can transfer between the different stocks. In example, between the seller and the bar stock. We need to select the stock from which we are transferring from, the destination, the product and quantity. 
If we have more than one business location, it is possible to transfer stock between them. In order to select stock from a different location, the option Display all stocks needs to be ticked. In case items need to be prepared in batches, for example cookies, we have the option to indicate this on the item level. When we edit our item, Cookie, we select Manufactured in the stock management details. This option allows us to produce this item in batches. Once selected, we can go to the Production tab in our stock module. Any product that has a recipe linked to it and has the Manufactured option ticked will be displayed here. If we select the cookie, the quantity we prepared and the destination, the batch will then reflect in our stock movements. The Inventory tab allows us to complete a stock take without having to adjust everything one by one via the Stock Input and Output tabs. We have the possibility here to click on the quantity to adjust it. The actions will be saved automatically in our stock movements with the reason Inventory. We can export this list to enter the stock take in Excel as well and import it again with a custom reason. Lastly, we have the option Stock Position Rules, which we find under the Rules tab. We do not want to run out of either items or ingredients unexpectedly, so in order to prevent this from happening, we can set up email alerts. We will then get notified when a product quantity goes below a certain number of units. In this example, we can see that when our stock items go below 10 units, all managers will receive an email notification. We can create as many notifications as we like and add different mail distribution lists to these alerts. This was our overview of Lightspeed K-Series Stock Management. If you are interested to learn more, consult our help center or get in touch with us. We are happy to assist. Have a nice rest of the day. Bye.